Okay. All right. We'll start with name and graduation year. Um, Teresa Lovins Grossman is my maiden name. So um, I graduated in 1984. Okay. Um, during your high school experience, were there any major historical moments that you remember distinctly? Um, well, I was in high school through the 1982 Olympics when um, the hockey team won, so that was kind of exciting. Um, I don't think there was anything else that was really major. I don't think so. Not really. Um, what was the school atmosphere like? Basically, I'm asking if it was strict or if it was more like free. Um, I think it was pretty laid back, actually. Um, you know, we were allowed to do some kind of crazy things our senior year, um, which I know has not been such an interesting thing lately. But um, <laughs> the the journalism group, um, the yearbook, made sure that everything was kind of documented in the in the yearbook itself. Um, the staff seemed very um, team-like. Um, we there was a really kind of atmosphere here that the students were here to learn, but yet have a good time. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Um, what did you enjoy the most out of your high school experience? Um, so when I was in high school, I participated in band. Um, that's where I met my future husband, so um, we marched together uh, my sophomore year. Um, so when I was in high school, it was just sophomore, junior, and senior years here. So I went from the Catholic school, teeny tiny school, eighth grade, went to Central for ninth grade, and then came over here for um, a sophomore, junior, and senior year. And so it was, it was a big change, um, but being a part of the band made me feel like I was a part of the school from day one when I walked in the door. Um, loved the classes, um, a little bit of a study bug, so I really liked um, what I did at school too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Love okay. Was there, were you here when North and East were, okay, so what's there a big rivalry? Oh, absolutely. Every sport. Um, uh, you know, basketball was horrendously competitive. Um, uh, football, our team was never as good as East during that time, um, but we, we supported them and really, really wanted to be um, the better team for, for the whole time. So um, it was, it was, yeah, there's co competition. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, did you have a favorite class? Um, I'd have to say not an individual class. I love my math classes. Um, I uh, really enjoyed geog or geometry, so it was kind of an interesting class. My teacher had to take off for surgery, and um, so we had a substitute who didn't know geometry. Um, and so we tutored each other in the class to learn how to do geometry. Um, and then I loved science. Um, I actually was able to do um, a semester of student teaching in science, and so got to um, assist with the, um, you know, the classes where you get to dig into the animals. Yeah. That was my favorite one. <laughs> Love. Did you have a favorite teacher? Um, I absolutely loved um, uh, uh, Chuck Richardson. Um, he's the one who got me involved in science, really, and, and um, kind of piqued my interest in that. He's the one I actually student taught with. Um, so he let me teach about how to um, dissect the pig. Um, knew when I left high school I wanted to be a science teacher did not become a science teacher. Um, I'm a physician, but um, so I teach every day about your body instead of science. So it's kind of an interesting kind of loop around to that. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. Um, so when you were in high school, what was the hip place to meet up or like? Believe it or not, it was Noble Romans. Wow. I've heard that like three times. Yes, I mean, and either one. I'm I, the one, the one really close to school here, or the one out uh, on the west side of town. They were just hopping places. You couldn't find a table to sit at when we were in high school there. So everybody went there after the games um, and hung out for what seemed like hours, but I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. that's so funny because like no one goes there anymore. I know it's an empty place <laughs> yeah. now. It's kind of sad actually. <laughs> yeah. um, so you don't remember your principal. No. Totally no, no, okay. no. <laughs> um, did you have senior projects? No, we did not have senior did projects. Did you have anything like senior projects? No, I, honestly, we didn't. Um, I'm not even thinking that there was even a class where you could do like a big project like that. Um, I don't think so. I know, I know. Um, it was it was probably a couple of years later when I heard yeah. that they started in with senior projects, and they started them at East before they came to us. So. <laughs> 
Um, I'm not sure that was a good thing. That <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, so you remember how big it was? Sure. Um, our senior class was 495 students. Mm -hmm. Yes, East was about 320 students, so we were quite a bit bigger than yeah, East yeah, at the that's time. Big. So. You should have, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, so what were the styles, like for clothes or like hair? Like, oh, it was that. truly 80s hair. Big fluffy <laughs> hair, lots of hairspray, um, big curly um, hairdos. Um, never participated in those big hairdos, but um, everybody else did. Okay. Um, lots more long hair. I had short hair. Um, I don't know. It was, it was a lot of independence, you know, some people wore long things, other people wore short things, so kind of made its turn back to where we are now. Um, similar clothing that uh, I see on people now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in your high school career, was there a defining moment, like a moment, basically, yeah, a moment. Um, For me, I don't know, it was kind of weird. Um, from, from a personal standpoint, I think meeting my future husband was a big defining moment. Um, but I also think that just, um, okay, not to brag, I, I, I graduated second in the class. And so d finding out that, that I was doing that well because I really didn't think I was doing that well was kind of an interesting um, parlay into, wow, maybe I really do know this stuff and didn't think I did. So, I mean, everybody self-doubts anyway, but I think that's the piece that gave me a little bit more confidence to be out there. Yeah. yeah. Your husband told me that he's like, she's a lot smarter than I was in high school. <laughs> yes. But he remembers details about high school I don't, so. <laughs> he's one of my like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, what, in your opinion, made your time at North unique compared to other classes over there? Um, so while I was here at North, um, it was before we had a swimming pool and we won the state swim competition um, several years during that time frame. Um, they all practiced over at Northside, um, so we didn't have a pool in here. So it was really kind of a fun experience um, knowing that we supported a swim team that made it to state and um, we had, um, well, I was on... Um, I was the manager of the basketball team for the girls, and we went to um, regionals, um, which was really kind of an interesting experience my senior year. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of different things happened. I mean, I've got uh, scrapbook after scrapbook of things that happened, so um, I probably should have looked at them before game. <laughs> this is so good. Um, okay, so you said you were involved in band. Uh -huh. Yeah, so... Um, did you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, so I um, was a part of the auxiliary in band. So that's the ones that, you know, throw the rifles and the flags and Ooh. things. So, um, and so it was a weird because for marching band season, which is the fall semester, that season ends and then you have nothing to do until you get to next summer. Um, but you still have that class in the school, so you had to figure out what to do. So, you know, they kind of stuck us into other instruments and things. I am not a musician. Um, so that was an interesting experience, um, picking up an instrument and trying to be a part of that. So, but no, the team uh, was really fun. You know, we ended up my, my senior year, we went to um, Philadelphia and marched in the parade there. That's awesome. All right, do you have any other questions? Covered everything. Yeah. Do you have any memories that you'd like to share? Um. Yes. There's a really weird one. You know, okay, I, cool. I told you I didn't remember the principal of the school, but on my application to medical school, one of the things was I had to tell them who my principal was, and they had to write me a letter of recommendation. And I went, I don't know that he would know me. And they said, Well, that's because they're not supposed to know you if you're going to medical school. I'm like, Oh, oh, okay. Well. Um, so um, that was kind of an interesting experience. The other interesting experience is my senior year. Um, Mr. Richardson sent me to detention because I had never been to detention before. He sent me a detention slip and he said, you can go to detention today. <laughs> So funny. It is funny because oh he's like, I want you to experience the whole realm of, of high school. I'm like, that is not the place that you want to be. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, watch out because there may be a teacher that gives you uh, a detention. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you guys.